you enjoy the control of Odd Warrior, would find yourself going something like this. You play it or watch it. What good news! Show brings you this exciting new take on Warrior. Wow! It's Tempo Warrior. Show sported a 23 and 2 record, going up from rank 4 to legend with this deck. Let's chase him down. It's the Madman! Dynomatic is considered, but yeah. Oh, I got three of the cards I was looking for. Oh, this actually looks like a really nice tempo hand. Gotta play on one. Probably coin out one of these uh, threes. Probably the frothing. Oh wow, frothing in the frothing. We look completely like a tempo warrior here. That's because we are one. That's cheating. The Acolyte is too slow to play in this matchup. But yeah, man, this brings me back. Oh, I wish he didn't have that card. That's the card I was fearing. Woof. Could have played Corkron otherwise. And then taken a uh, free trade. Oh, but that's the card I really want, so we're all good. Control elements to this deck also. Got my uh, Acolyte Execute value play. Oh, I even get to kill one of those guys off. Uh, now we're not even gonna do the Execute, we're just gonna play Corkron into that. Um, I might draw Militia Commander, not that it would matter because I'm playing Corkron. So you can see this deck's just like a tempo warrior and a control warrior made a baby. I will crush you! And it's so adorable. Ah, uh, no, my guys aren't mechanical. Rush the enemy! Defend the Kalneo! By the end of the day, the deck's goal is to keep a minion on the board uh, while clearing the opponent, so from that sense... Tempo Warrior? Sure, legitimate label, I would say. Especially for a deck running Frothing and Quirk Run. Try to snowball it out with Security River. And it's a very modular deck, and obviously, like, it can play very differently against control decks. Riding them out with Dr. Boob Mad Genius, which return to you with 10 with the Omega Assembly. Why do you go? Mushroom power! Extraordinary. How do I want to play this? Do I want to try to get lucky? Because, boy, if this gets lucky, I super win. This is the safe play, I'll just do it. Man, I have the Lich King. Well played. Well played. You win. Let's see, Shaman. I feel like the Warpath is good here. I can't really vocalize why. It shouldn't be good until turn 6. It shouldn't be good now. Eh, yeah, Acolyte 2, I guess. Acolyte 
Oh, what a draw. One of the benefits of this deck is against low control decks, you can take the fast win every so often. And this actually might be a fast win. It has that possibility. Should I play Bloodraiser first of all? It's not like an immediate absolute. Just like, huh. The putting that at three make it so it was possible for him to clear this with Lightning Storm. That's about the only consideration. And this is plus one. Plus one more on the throbbing. Oh man, he's Gamba. Uh, uh, oh. I waited this long. I have a play next turn. I could play the assembly next turn. They missed out on the world where I had lethal next turn. What a shame. That's like a lightning storm for the game. But the good news is we're still free rolling for a win right now. Something like that. Yeah, I think I can wait for 10 for assembly. I believe the opponent is playing a Shutterwalk deck. Not sure what flavor of it it is. Like full Shutterwalk or some Shutterwalk, but it should be a Shutterwalk. Which means this card pretty much doesn't matter. But then again, I might as well save it for the Rush Belly. Something. The Firefly means it's the mid range Shutterwalk. Yeah. That's the giveaway. Should have caught on to that. I knew I was like, there's some reason why it's a particular type of Shutterwalk, but I can't quite figure it out at the moment. Listen here. Use this so I can have lethal next turn. My jaws that bite, my claws. That should be good. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. That's a deck that I want to try out sometime. Mid range Shutter Walk. Play Shutter Walk just for some value at the end. Hey! His hero power didn't change. That usually means he's not the aggressive rogue, which means that this is a matchup for the Tempo Warrior to shine. Ah, it's the quest rogue, exactly what I wanted to match up against and draw Frothing Berserker for. Because while Control Warrior just fails against this deck, Tempo Warrior can beat him up. Uh, right now all I have is a 4 mana 2 5 and a 5 mana 3 4 that damages my own guys, but in theory I would have the stuff. as I very aggressively go in for one damage. 
not just tempo. Or it's not just frothing for the tempo. Warp run is also good. Oh boy, because I draw all the control cards. I cry every time. Give me a little bit of luck here at least. That was pretty lucky. Dynamatic. Matter Bomber was exactly what I needed. I meet you. Drink with me, friend. Pressure still low, far too low. But hey, it's a lot more pressure than he was probably expecting from Yakiopa against Warrior. It's like, ah, control warrior, easy free win. But not today, buddy. Not today. They can't afford to draw the cards for the vanish. Unity, precision, perfection, primitive. I see meet you. Uh, the burn doesn't matter much. Let's just play out this guy. I hope you like my invention. There once was a man from Gilneas. I see meet you. Good burn card at the end. So. That's a bad one to burn. Damage to the Lich King probably won't matter, and the Lich King is probably getting frozen for quite some time. Somewhere in my statistician head, it's like, why is it more likely Minstrel takes two damage than Lich King? It's because all chances that three damage go on the Lich King are also three damage on the Minstrel, but it can only take two damage. So basically every result that's two or higher gets rounded into the Minstrel. And that's your basic stats briefing. There once was a man from Gilneas. Yeah, army try to high roll on the Gromish. He's used one vanish. Come, try your luck. Are they changing plans? strange. So lethal if I get Gromish. Let's roll. Go. I will call oh my god. From oh that's a high roll. And that's Tempo Road. Or Tempo. And that's Tempo Warrior. Good 